Hi, thanks for joining me again for the calculation of the mean for a group frequency distribution. I'm going to look at this example, the expenditure on food and the number of consumers who spend this money on food. I have this set up as if it's an exam type question where we need to calculate the mean standard deviation and the coefficient of variation. But in this video, I'm just going to calculate the mean expenditure on food. OK, what we have here is the table known as a group frequency distribution table where we have expenditure on food in the first column and the number of consumers in the second. So the mean formula is represented by x bar equals the sum of fx over the sum of f. f here refers to frequency and x is your variable in question. And typically in a table, your first column is your x variable. So I'm going to replace that heading expenditure on food with the letter x. The second column in your frequency distribution table is your frequency. So again, I'll replace that with f. And now we've matched up the headings with what's in the formula, the sum of fx over the sum of f. Now we follow the formula, so we need to multiply f by x and then get the sum of it. So we have our f figures and we have our x. In order to make this calculation easy for us, we need to get the midpoint of the x values. So we're going to create a new column called midpoint, which is also your x column. And you've noticed here, based on the question that we have initially, where it just had less than 10, I need to open this up. And I'm opening it up at 0 because I'm giving this a class width of 10, which is like the one that's after it. It's the rule of thumb that I follow, OK? If I had 50 and over, I'm going to put 60 here because the class width before it is a 10. So f by x, my midpoint is going to be a 5. The next one is going to be 15 and then 25, etc. Now that I have that done, I'm just going to multiply f by x as in the formula. So I have my next column breaking up my formula. fx so equals bracket f multi multiplied by your x. Highlight that cell and just grab the corner and drag it down. You'll get the rest of the figures. So finally, to get the numerator, we just sum it up. So equals sum, open your bracket, click on the beginning number you want to add up, put in colon and the last figure, close your bracket and return. And we have our sum of fx. The denominator for the mean is the sum of f. So again, we just get equals sum, open your bracket, Highlight the first figure, colon, last figure, bracket, and return. And we have the sum of f. Now we can complete the value for the mean. So equals open your bracket. Clicking on the sum of fx, divide by, which is forward slash. Clicking on your sum of f, close your bracket, and we have... 34.53. Okay, here's a quick tip. When you're faced with a group frequency distribution, I always look for the highest frequency figure. In this case, it's 60. And this is going to indicate to you what your answer for x or the mean in this case is going to be. So it's going to be between 30 and 40. And if you look and see if there's a balance either side in terms of numbers, it's going to stay around the middle of that range, 30 to 40. So 30 and 20, which is either, either side of 60, is almost a balance. We have an 8 here to make that a 28 and then a 4 to make that a 32, a 32 and a 36 here. So you can see that the answers might be a little tug of war, you can already say. The answers are going to be in around the middle. Again, thanks for watching. In the next video, I'm going to do the standard deviation using the same table. And in the standard deviation, we actually need the mean values here as well. So thanks for watching. Make sure to click on the subscribe button, the logo down on the right side there, and check out my other videos or check out the podcast Economic Rockstar. If you're into economics, we have plenty of guests, plenty of economists out there, and we talk a lot of things, economics and even econometrics and math related. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to you joining me again for the next videos.